Coming up, they're dramatic, heart-stopping, and incredible. From the unreal to the unbelievable. Stampede tomorrow night. It's the planet's wildest animal commercial. Give me, give me. Now, news about your all-time favorites. The secrets behind the classics. Cow, cow, cow. And the tricks of the trade. See the movie magic that helped this steam kick a field goal. Get ready for the flips, the kicks, and the chicks. <laughs> it's time for the planet's wildest animal commercials you've probably never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Weller. And welcome to the planet's wildest animal commercials. They can pull at our hearts, they can touch our souls, which makes animals darn good salesmen. I mean, remember the Chihuahua pushing Taco Bell or maybe Spuds McKenzie? Well, here's the next generation of animal pitchmen. Now, their job, selling beer. If you're looking for a hot tip, sometimes you need to get inside information. Stampede tomorrow night, 2 a.m. Just like other breweries, Old Vienna has decided to look for the perfect dog to promote its beer. Next. Three lassies. They must be looking at every dog in town. I, I'd say it's a cattle call. Except they're not, well, you, you know. You call these dogs? This is a beer, not a perfume. Old Vienna, great beer, no dog. Just say O.V. There, right there. I think we've caught a glimpse of the elusive Sasquatch who roams the glacier meadows of the Kootenays. He's said to be half human, half beast. This is phenomenal. Are you rolling? The star okay, of this spot is only cave, half but animal, like in but we're showing the Careful, whole thing shy. anyway. Yo, honey, I'm home. Did you bring the cool, crisp kokanee? Yo, my little mugwump. Kokanee beer from the Columbia Brewing Company, brewed right in the Kootenays. Anyone spot your sass? Just this guy with the camera. Hi. <laughs> Care for a kokanee? Oh, that'd be nice. I don't exactly know how to describe this one. I'll have creepy, surreal, gross, terrifying. Why have we Eagle Piper Lounge or Easy Piper Piper? Thankfully, almost over. Wait! Oh my, it's the game of the week. The Broncos versus the Colts. Do that? Nah. They usually go for two. Sure, it's a cool commercial, but let's hit the rewind button and find out how they did that. First, the horse holding the football was filmed with his hoof up on a block. Then, the block was digitally removed and replaced with a regulation football. A blue screen was used to shoot the horse running up to the ball, and animation gave the leg the kicking motion. Then the blue screen was electronically removed, and all elements were combined. And for a little touch of reality, a puff of smoke shot in the studio was added. Next thing you know, it's seven zip Colts. <laughs> of 
cool idea, cool techniques. As you've seen, animals and computers can combine to make magic. One of the most popular tricks, giving animals the gift of gap. Back in the early days, they had to rely on traditional animation techniques. These next ads show the evolution of the art. Hey, Billy, you'll always be the goat with that dry, unruly hair. Better get my talents. Yeah. In 1955, yes, conventional thinking was nothing could sell hair tonic like a talking goat. It's even dry, unruly hair, and eats all day the greaseless way. Oh, Contains yeah, no nothing impresses the ladies like hair that won't See, stain a no tissue. <laughs> yes, that's new Vitalis with V7. Keeps your hair neat all day the greaseless way. See what Vitalis did for Billy's dry, Billy goat hair? Don't kid around with your hair. Get Vitalis. Yeah! Then came the computer and suddenly anything was possible. That's a Suzuki! Oh, so this is how you tell how many horsepower your car is. I hope she got my good side. Why do I feel run down? Why? Because I've got a puppy and I work and I chase cars. Just From the horse's mouth to... Talking dogs. I think it's living in a big city. I think it's possible. <laughs> because I'm overworked. I'm a single mum with a litter. I barely got the energy to bark. <laughs> Suppose I just don't get enough sleep. Mm, actually, I really don't know. Uh, it's a compliment to our wild and furry friends that we name so many of our sports teams after them. The Lions, the Bears, the Ducks, the Panthers, the Blue Jays. I mean, I, I worry that we could run out of names. One day you might be watching the Los Angeles Goldfish play the Dallas Fruit Flies. <laughs> well, whatever names we choose, some animals love sports as much as we do. Introducing the first sports drink made with juice just for kids. New awesome tasting score from Juicy Juice. It's got everything a kid needs to keep on playing. Apparently, it wasn't made just for kids. New score from Juicy Juice. Go! Ready? Ever wonder how they test aspirin? <laughs> that uh, looked like the foul tip into Rodriguez. Rodriguez really gets nailed on this one. <laughs> Even off his mask, that's got to hurt. Makes you wonder why anybody wants to be a catcher. Some parakeets are cute and cuddly. We are looking for parakeets. Some can score goals! Who feel our colors, who get excited, and above all, who want to fly with us. We are going to play football. Don't miss it. Espanol de Barcelona, the parakeet. The thing that I like about coaching most is uh, working with players, having them improve, and reaching their goals. Do not avoid the contact. Make the contact. You're either going to get fouled or you're going to go to the line, but you got to make that shot. Keep on the ball, keep on the ball. Here it comes. Catch the ball. Good oh, good yeah. Good puppy good puppy got game. The individual is confident. I don't care what you say. He's not worth 20 million a year. Good. 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 All right, so how do you do that? Well, unlike many of our commercials, this one needed no special effects, just one talented puppy. We're told Zeke, who made his showbiz debut on David Letterman, was perfect from the field, making all of his baskets during the filming of this commercial. You won the game for us. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. How about taking a break for some more commercials? Then, a baby stroller, a speeding locomotive. What will happen next? Plus, a dog who knows how to duck and cover. And a Planet Classic, the inside story behind the Mighty Dog ads. And the planet's wildest animal commercials returns. Welcome back to the planet's wildest animal commercials. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a planet classic. 
the adventures of Mighty Dog. Oh, they were corny and campy and all the rage. With its signature sizzling brand, cheap stunts, and adorable costume, Mighty Dog took a completely different approach to peddling dog food, and the results were immediate. It's Mighty Dog to the rescue. Guardian of good taste, he brings But the times soon changed, and the cape disappeared. This is Dudley. Just one look and you can tell he's a mighty dog. These more recent spots take a more traditional approach, emphasizing health and fitness, but they never lost the sizzle. It makes him a healthy dog. It makes him a mighty dog. Aw, but come on, who could forget our long-haired hero, complete with, like, really cool boots? You can always call on Mighty Dog. Mighty Dog beat for dogs from Carnation. I can only imagine all dogs dream of being a superhero like the Big MD, especially if Lois Lane comes along. <laughs> but heroic hounds come in all shapes and sizes, as these commercials prove. When your luck runs out, the best thing to do is run for Lucky Dog, because Lucky Dog's got more than just meat. It's got the added goodness of vegetables as well, and that makes all the difference. Wow, I'm happy if my dog just fetches my slippers. Well done, lucky dog. I guess who's allowed to sleep on the bed tonight? So, he wants his own cop show. NYPD Pup, Magnum, P.I., K-9, Starsky and Wolf, Murder, She Barked. Oh, somebody stop me. I guess in cyberspace, every dog has his dead. Here's a little advice for those of you who insist on walking in bad neighborhoods at night. Don't. One of the great joys of pet ownership is teaching your pet to do tricks. Your dog rolling over. Your parakeet saying your name. Your chimp doing your taxes. <laughs> All right, granted, that's a little tougher, but well worth it. Take a look at these tricky pets. You are in my power. When I snap my fingers, you will act like a chicken. This guy can't even hypnotize his dog. Well, so much for his dreams of world domination. <laughs> When I snap my fingers, you will act like a chicken. Like the new dog art, right? It's not right to take that doggy to the pub. He just got out of rehab. Doesn't do much, does he? Fancy a drop of John Smith's. <laughs> He just needs the right motivation. John Smith's bitter. A tough act to follow. Here's a commercial that's all about problem solving. Fang, I've lost my key. What are we gonna do? Clever 
bullshit. Hey, it's a piece of cake. All you need is your dog, your imagination, some children's toys, and an IQ 185, and you'll be able to open that door in no time. We'll get it, Fang. Don't worry. Good. Lego rules, okay? Sparky! Does your dog ever get so excited at dinner time, he just jumps for joy? And jumps. And jumps. And jumps. Sparky! 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 Hungry, man! Hey, these hot dogs and baked beans are serious, Mom! Yeah, this... You know, it's not always an advantage having an excellent sense of smell. Great sauerkraut, babe! At Sunny Surplus, we have clothes and accessories for every member of your family. And everything you need to survive in today's world. Sunny Surplus, where world peace means bigger savings for you. Hello, please, miss. What's up? I don't know. It just comes with it. You know, uh, we're not exactly sure what this commercial's about, but this little guy will go through hoops to get you to buy the product. Nah, I think I'll just stick with me wobbly chocolate. Hello. All bubble, no squeak. Oh, I think that poor little mouse got a cheesy deal. It's time for a few more commercials from our sponsors. Then we've got love, romance, and a sexy shower scene. We'll show you why this elephant wasn't really such a knockout. Welcome back to the planet's wildest animal commercials. I'm Rob Weller. You know, both humans and animals have very elaborate courtship rituals. Whether you go to a bar and ask, you know, like, what's your sign? Or uh, strut around with your tail feathers fanned out. The message, it's the same. Me boy, you girl, let's get friendly. Take a gander at these world-class flirts. <laughs> Ever meet someone and know right away you've got great chemistry? <laughs> Need to lose weight? No good for yourself. Lose weight, not money. Wow, I knew they could use tools, but personal computers. <laughs> Introducing ping pong text messaging. Talk and text with ping pong from Voice Dream. It'll never work. She's a Sagittarius. Yuck, that can't be hygienic. Who knows where that girl has been? Oh, yeah. Is that you, Pudu? Was. I miss the little fella. Oh, that is so sweet. Mitch. Sorry? That was his name. Mitch. <laughs> Here's to roughing it in. It's another love story. This time with a twist. Wait a minute, how did they do that? Well, 
This may look like the wilds of Africa, but it's really a suburban backyard. The elephant and our leading lady shot most of their scenes separately. First the shower scene, then the flowers, and of course the twisting trunk. And if you watch closely, the bump scene, just a stunt. But when it's all edited together, the results are convincing. You know, we humans often compare ourselves to animals. I'm as strong as an ox, or as mean as a polecat, or as giddy as a wildebeest. Okay, I made that last one up. But my point is, sometimes we act like animals, and sometimes they act like us. Okay, boy, now just like I taught you, I want you to open the cooler, and I want you to get me an ice-cold Pepsi. Come Ever on, get the you feeling that some dogs are smarter than their owners? Good boy, good boy. This adds for a radio station. And it proves what some of us already believe. Music today has gone to the dogs. Come on, boy. Come on. Go get it. Go get it. Come on. If you really want to understand your dog, someday you should walk a mile in his paws. <laughs> Need a dog? Wayside Waves has hundreds of them, all with shots. Wayside Waves. Adopt a pet. It's only human. They say clothes make the man. The suit is very important because that's how you get her to notice you. Then once you've got her attention, make your move. Subtlety is the key. Aw, oh, they may look perfect for each other, but this commercial was actually one of those perfect accidents. Originally, producer Sara Lopez wasn't supposed to be in it. After a long, hard day of shooting, she sat next to the Great Dane for a laugh, and a handy video camera captured the magic moment, which Sarah says wasn't all it seems. Turns out her boyfriend wasn't amorous, just plain pooped. The love scene was just the Great Dane trying to get a quick nap. <laughs> Have you ever watched a commercial and wondered what the heck was going on? I mean. I gotta tell you, I've seen these next commercials over and over, and I still don't get them. See if you can decipher the true meaning of these surreal spots. This man right here is my great grandfather. He's the first cat herder in our family. Herding cats. Don't let anybody tell you it's easy. Anybody can herd cattle. Holding together 10,000 half wild short hairs. Well, that's another thing altogether. Being a cat herder is probably about the toughest thing I think I've ever done. I got this one this morning, right here. And if you look at his face, it's it just ripped to shreds, you know? You see the movies, you, you hear the stories, it's... I'm living a dream. Not everyone can do what we do. I wouldn't do nothing else. It ain't an easy job, but when you bring a herd into town and you ain't lost a one of them, ain't a feeling like it in the world. EDS, managing the complexities of the digital economy. Ooh, when all those internet companies folded, it was hard on everyone. Sorry, Bobo, it's back to your old job, writing sitcoms. You think your dog has a boring life? Not if he has a vivid imagination. Zoom, just one look, and then my heart went boom. Suddenly, and we were on the moon. Now, they say this one's for a radio station. I just hope whoever dreamed it up isn't operating heavy machinery. 
In this gripping drama, a fish's life hangs in the balance. It just looked as though it was just screaming for water. It was dying, it was lyingly dying, and nobody was helping it. Until this big man came along and just picked up the fish under his arm, and he just shot off down the road. And he jumped up onto the bottom of our car, and I thought he was going to come through the windscreen. Oh, his muscles were bulging, and he was just holding this fish just so tight. Of course it was Joan alone with him. Burst through the car wash, bang! Why, Jingo's ears moving. It was just on this last gasp, and he just threw the fish in, and it saved his life. Wearing Adidas makes you more caring about fish and alligators and cats and elephants and even people. It's just a little bee. What's the big deal? Oh, I get it. After all the excitement, let's get back to reality and take a quick break to watch some commercials. Then, how a dance step turned this into a planet classic. Cow, cow, cow. It's all ahead when Planet's wildest animal commercials comes right back. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the planet's wildest animal commercials. Let's go back in time when Richard Nixon was in the White House, All in the Family topped the TV ratings, and this Planet Classic was a hit sensation. The light-footed felines made their debut in 1972. Purina used an old advertising trick, a catchy jingle that repeated the product name. The effect that made the cats dance was obviously low-tech by today's standards, but these toe-tapping tabbies sure did their job. Sales for Purina Cat Chow skyrocket. Over the years, there were several versions of this campaign, but they all featured that trademark stutter step. Quick forward and reverse motion that anyone with a VCR could do today. Oh, there's nothing like success to spur on a campaign. Man, yeah, makes me think of that other advertising adage, if at first you succeed, keep repeating it. You could end up with a trilogy. Well, in this case, it's a boy, his dog, and an outstanding public service announcement for TV España. Now, that's Spain's equivalent of the BBC. Watch and have a hanky handy. Wanna play? Hey, 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 I I'm, I'm talking to you. <laughs> just don't communicate anymore. In addition to capturing Spain's attention, these ads had an additional benefit. Their public service message, imploring parents to not let their kids watch too much TV. Imagine that. Now that first commercial was so successful, TVE decided to update the story with a second installment. This time, pulling those heartstrings even harder.
Now look what you've done, driven to a puppy pub. <laughs> He finally made a friend. Oh, those commercials <laughs> were so popular, the dog Pippin became like this huge celebrity. In fact, Pippin, or his many lookalikes, appeared in dozens of commercials, like this next one. Now, take a look at the dog and the boy. They say imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Oh, look at that. The doggy came home. I guess the boy finally learned his lesson. Of course, since the ad's for a dog food company and not a public service message, you know there won't be any sad endings, just full bellies. Nito, because a friend is a friend. As we've seen, public service announcements have changed a bit since the days when they were stuffy and self-important. Even serious messages can be delivered in a funny way. Take a look at these seriously funny spots. Pay attention, this one's got a surprise ending. Of all the butts in the world, this is the grossest. All this pooch wants is a nice family to take him home. Instead, he's on the street. Turning tricks. wildest animal commercials is coming right back with some real heavyweights. Plus, a scuba diving dog? Find out how they made this look so real. <laughs> Welcome back to the planet's wildest animal commercials. You know, there's more than one way to teach someone to swim. You can spend hundreds of dollars and hire a private teacher or throw them in the lake. Hope for the best. <laughs> Most of our animal friends do just fine in the water where you either sink or swim. Did you ever get to work in the morning and realize, ooh, you left the faucet running? Don't worry, it'll dry out in about three years. Oh, I get it. Just add water. Now I'm a biologist, an undersea explorer. Julie Nicholas sets off our most daring expedition ever. People, do your kid a favor. Clean your tub. <sighs> Visit the aquarium and relive the experience again and again. Ontdek the sprunkelende frisheid van de nieuwe melk in die fris melk. Hey, you're not supposed to get leather wet. <laughs> Was the new fresh milk. Okay, nobody looks good from this angle. Who 
what's really impressive is there's a pig driving the boat. <laughs> If only dipping your dog for fleas and ticks was this easy. What's he looking for? Catfish? It's a mess. And you know dogs hate it. That's why we created New Defend for Dogs. It's revolutionary. But don't take our word for it. As hey, I have a dog, and I know they hate being underwater. So how'd they do that? Well, the dog was a professional and trained for weeks to wear a diving mask. It's a mess. He was never put in the water. The illusion was created with tons of hairspray and powerful fans. And bubbles were added digitally. like nothing else. The workout craze has really swept the planet. Aerobics, jogging, spinning, weight training. Everywhere I go, I'm forced to avoid a new form of exercise. Apparently, the fitness boom has even spread to the animal kingdom. Who doesn't work out at home with their trunks of steel video? <laughs> at this rate, he'll be down to his target weight in the year 2037. Some more your strength beneath your feet. These next pictures are brought to you courtesy of our caller cam. I used to love it when she ran. She wouldn't go much faster, but you'd tire out quicker. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now we walk three miles a day, ten miles on the weekends. It's too much. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> I love doing that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No. Whoa. I'm going to lose some weight. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> well, it could be worse. I could be a cat. <laughs> So what do you do after a good workout on a hot day? You go for a dip, of course. Look, they're naked. This summer and this summer only. When it gets this hot, there's a better way to stay cool. New Pepsi Twist and Diet Pepsi Twist. The great taste of Pepsi with a twist of lemon. How cool is that? That's a great spot, but clearly some animals should not wear Speedos. Anyway, ready for some more commercials? I thought so. Well, we'll have them for you after a short commercial break. And then some of the most bizarre commercials you've probably never seen. Oh, he came back as a monkey. One of the planet's wildest animal commercials returns. Hello? <laughs> Welcome back to the planet's wildest animal commercials. If you're looking for wild, check out those local ads. The key, low budget, high energy. If you grew up in Southern California, you won't forget this planet classic. This guy was always on TV and always with an animal. If you need a car, truck, you can. <laughs> he always wore a cowboy hat and boots. But his true signature was his animals. Tons of them. Cal Worthington sells cars. You can't be surprised. Look at this. But to do this, he's worked with an anteater, a hippo, even a killer whale. His joke, referring to them all as... Well, the ads began in 1967 and didn't stop until 1999 because, in Cal's words, they were just too successful. And I'll stand on my head to beat anybody's feelings. Cal's favorite co-star was a 500-pound tiger. In fact, he liked her so much, he bought her. Well, you think that working with all those animals would be dangerous? But the worst that ever happened to Cal was when his beloved tiger, Spot, tore up his hat during the taping of a commercial. Ah, good old Cal. He liked to do things in a big way. But sometimes small animals can make just as big a statement. Motorola found the perfect tiny pitchman to help them communicate some high-tech innovations in the phone business. Check out this campaign. Portable phones are so small these days, they can fit just about anywhere. 
Hello? The Motorola U.3688. One of the smallest gear by mobiles in the world. No, I mean, it's not a problem. Come here. Now sit. Dial mother. Mother. Hello? Hello? The Motorola V3690. Now with voice dial. You're never going to believe this. <laughs> the Motorola V3690. Also with vibrating alert. Mother, what on earth gave you that idea? Okay, now we all react differently to pain. Some guys don't flinch when a car drives over their foot. I faint when I get chapped lips. <laughs> Some animals have very few nerve endings, so it, it doesn't hurt if they lose a claw or their lizardy tail drops off, or worse. Fresh bread can mean the difference between a safe day at the park <laughs> and an emotional scar. So be safe. 7-Eleven, fresh bread and milk delivered daily. Man, look at that energy. But sooner or later, all runners hit a wall. The Mitsubishi Express has loading doors on both sides. The competition doesn't. The Mitsubishi Express. There are many ways advertisers convince you to buy. They can be cute, they can be funny, or they can shock you. You'll see what I mean in these next commercials. Some adoption agencies don't really care where they place their babies. Poor little guy, all he wants is to find his mom. <laughs> Remember the first time you sniffed your mother's underarm? I had. Chinese team boss blow off. Lang ring up green guy. Uh, this proves it. There is someone for everybody. <laughs> Don't miss Super Job Sunday in the Star Tribune newspaper, September 19th. It's where people and careers find each other. Some people never, ever change. Irene, take this. What? It's me, Roger. I know, I know. He came back as a monkey. <laughs> Come back next Tuesday. I make a killing on Tuesdays. And next time, wear that red dress I like. Mm -hmm. How will you support your family after you pass away? Conceito, step up. Hey, come to think of it, I make a killing on Tuesdays. Boy, we have seen a lot of commercials tonight with an appearance by just about every animal on the planet. You remember, don't you? Well, if you're like most folks, research shows you're more likely to recall commercials with cats in them. Dogs, close second. Giant Goliath beetles, forget it. Well, we've got plenty more commercials. Oh, but sadly, no more time. So remember, be good to the animals, and they'll be good to you. I'm Rob Weller. So long.